So it's Wednesday, December 18th. Finally got all the parts in to fix the Kawasaki. I got a speedo cable to replace, and I got two sets of brake switches. I'm going to replace the front one. The rear one's still working, but it's probably not going to be working for a real long time, so I'm going to replace that when the weather gets a little warmer. But meanwhile, here is what the front switch looks like. And it's only just one screw that holds it in place. This is the old one, and there's a little plunger here. I'll show you on the new one. See at the top there, there's that little plunger thing. You can probably even hear it click if I put it up close like that. Well, this is the old one. The plunger actually was all, all the way down inside the switch originally, but just handling it after I took it off, it popped out a little ways, but it still doesn't. You can hear no click. It doesn't work. So, real easy. Just, there's a little guide here. This little thing you see there sticking up here. Let me. See that little piece sticking up there? There's a little guide and the hole to put the screw in, and it's all done. And it goes right up in. I'll put this to the side for a second. Get my light. You can see there's the wires for it right there hanging loose. These right here. And it goes right up underneath. I don't know if you can see it there. Let me, let me point this a little bit. Yeah, right there. Right in there. That's where this is going to go. So, put it in, screw it down. Try it and see if it works. Okay, switch is up in place. Now all we do is turn the key on. Try it out and see if it works. Right there. How about that? Try the quick brake again. Okay. Got front and rear brakes. Next, onto the speedo cable. case of this one, I got the entire thing, not just the inside. I've already replaced that once and that didn't work out quite so well. It lasted one year, so we got the whole thing. And it's not that expensive anyway. It's uh, $16.95, 17 bucks for a really nice quality aftermarket one. Got it from partzilla.com. So, I already took the old one out, so basically it's just run it from below the axle on the front wheel up through and connect it up in here which doesn't give me a lot of room to work so that's going to be the fight getting in here I, I hope I don't have to end up I took it out without removing this thing I hope I don't have to remove the headlamp but we'll see okay speedo cable went on pretty easy I mean it was kind of tight fit getting my fingers up into there to tighten it, but I was able to tighten it pretty good. I might reach in there just with a needle nose and give it just one little, one little extra little tweak, just to be sure. But not easy, but not as hard as I expected. So I think we're back in business. <laughs> 